Hello, welcome everyone. This video is about demoing a solution introduced in ISC 3.1 for BYOD onboarding endpoints enabled with random MAC addresses. What was the problem? When the endpoints enabled with MAC randomization, how do we track endpoints not based on the MAC address but based on the unique parameter called GUID of the endpoint? Well, this is the brief overview of the enhancement introduced in IAC 3.1 where the certificate provision to the endpoint not only contains the MAC address but also contains the GUID of the endpoint. Let's start with the problem statement. Consider an endpoint is being onboarded through the dual SSID BYOD service. When endpoint is getting connected to open SSID with one MAC address shown in the slide, in earlier versions of IEC, IEC provisions the certificate to the endpoint imprinted with the MAC address of the endpoint seen by IEC under SAN field so that endpoint gets connected securely over secure SSID with the certificate provisioned. However, when the endpoint connects to sec when the same endpoint connects to secure SSID because of random MAC address MAC address seen by IAC is different from MAC address there in certificate SAN field. There is clearly a mismatch. What is the solution? Well, from IAC 3.1 onwards, certificate provisioned to the endpoint not only contains the MAC address, but also contains the GUID so that you can track the endpoint not based on the MAC address, but with a unique parameter called GUID from the context visibility. Let's onboard an endpoint. Let's enable the network adapter. Now that it got authenticated against the network, let's open the browser. As you could see, the browser already detected that there is a URL redirect. Click on open network login page. The browser gets redirected to BYOD welcome page. Let's start the BYOD onboarding process. Let's provide device name and description click continue now the network setup assistant gets downloaded which will help us to onboard the endpoint and the network setup assistant is going to provision the required certificates and the profile let's start the network setup assistant network setup assistant is going to talk to the isc server and it's going to install the isc certificate and provisions the certificate and the ssids required now the network setup assistant is onboarded the endpoint successfully. Let's go and verify the network adapter. Let's look at the properties, go to the authentication tab. Now you could see that the authentication is happening over the certificate. Now let's review the certificate provisioned onto the endpoint as well. Let's open the MMC console where I have the certificate Let's go to the personal store and this is the certificate provisioned from the ISC. Let's go to the details and let's verify what is there under subject alternative name. If you look at the subject alternative name, the subject alternative name not only contains the MAC address but also contains the GUID value of the endpoint. This way the ISC can track the endpoint based on the GUID not based on the MAC address alone. Back to the ISC because the endpoint was onboarded successfully. Let's click on the BYOD endpoints. You could see clearly see that the onboarded endpoint here. Let's click on the MAC address. Click on attributes, other attributes. Let's go and verify the subject alternative name. Because the endpoint is getting authenticated with a certificate, the certificate subject alternative name URI is going to contain not only the MAC address but uh, the GUID of the endpoint. So that endpoint can be tracked with the GUID not with the MAC address. Let's go to the live log. So this is how the endpoint was onboarded. Initially it was onboarded and once the onboarding was successful it got the BYOD access. Let's review the policy sets. I got one policy set called BYOD matching with the location and BYOD endpoints. And this policy is going to match with the specific endpoints which are getting authenticated with the all user ID store sequence. 
and uh, let's look at the authorization policies. If the endpoint is stolen, then the endpoint registration status becomes no, then I wanted to give restricted access and untrusted SGT. But for successful onboarded devices, I wanted to give the BWOD access and BWOD SGT. For uh, onboarding endpoints, I'm gonna uh, let them go through the BWOD starting process. That's how I created the policies. So let's review the client provisioning policies. Already a Windows client provisioning policy defined with a Windows supplicant wizard and an ISP profile. Let's look at what is there in the IAC, IAC NSP profile. IAC NSP profile is to provision the SSIDs using the certificate template and for a wired and wireless endpoints as well. So for both wired and wireless endpoints, I was making use of a certificate template called EAP authentication certificate template. Let's look at that template. Let's go to the certificates, certificate authority, certificate template. Let's review the EAP authentication certificate template. Now you have an option to imprint not only the MAC address, but uh, uh, the GUID as well. So that you, for all the endpoints enabled with the MAC randomization, you can imprint not only the MAC address, but you can also imprint the GUID value. Go to the work center, BYOD reports, expand the reports, BYOD reports, supplicant provisioning. You could clearly see that the supplicant provisioning was successfully onboarded the endpoint and the registered endpoint report shows that the registration was successful for this endpoint. That's what I wanted to demo it. Thanks for joining us.